What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with a video for you today. Now yesterday I did not upload because I had a migraine that would not leave me. I don't know if it's like a, a post-COVID migraine. I don't know what it was but it was hell and literally I had so much pain right in here. It was like somebody was drilling like just like putting a drill like just like all day drilling right in the front of my face it was terrible anyways anyways enough of that um i am going to show you guys how to make a leftover eggnog latte because i have some leftover eggnog and so i'm going to show you guys how to make a little latte out of it so we're going to use um I don't think I'm going to use all of this, but we're going to use a, a, a bit of it. So, all right, let's go here. It is also freezing here in Houston. It is so cold. It's so, so cold. Um, so this will be nice to warm me up because I'm making a hot latte. Now, usually, you know, I drink the ice drinks. But we're going to do hot today. I'm using this Good and Gather Oat Milk Holiday Nog. And I'm going to use just the recipe on here. And it says heat oat milk holiday nog until warm. Mix with an equal amount of hot coffee. Garnish with a sprinkle of ground cinnamon. Okay. So since I'm using this mug for my coffee let's shake this up shake 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 I'm gonna fill it up it's about right there it's got a dirty word on the I mean it's not a dirty word it's just not a good word YouTube doesn't like it I'm gonna pour in here okay there we go and we're gonna let that heat up I also have this jar here because I'm gonna use my milk frother um, if you don't have a milk frother you can skip this step but I love my milk frother I got it on Amazon for like I think this was like 11 bucks so we're just gonna let this heat up. I've already got my coffee made. Okay, we're gonna add that to the cup. There we go. And then like, just like the remnants, the remnants of the, from the eggnog that I already poured in, we'll just kinda Mix in with the coffee, I guess. Let me grab a spoon. And I have some ground cinnamon. I'm going to put that on top as well. And I also you know you know some good real dairy whipped cream. If you're going to go for whipped cream, if you're gonna use whipped cream, use the real deal. Use the real deal. Enough with the reduced fat, okay? Unless you have like a health condition that you need to do the reduced fat or the reduced sugar, or whatever. Unless you have a health condition. If you don't, use the real whipped cream. Cause guess what? I guarantee you, if it's like a if it's like a weight loss thing or whatever, whipped cream is not going to hold you back from meeting your goals. A little squirt of real whipped cream is not going to hold you back from meeting your workout health goals. Just a little, just a little tip. Okay, this is starting to get warm. It's starting to bubble up. Bubbling. 
it, let it just be warm. Now I'm gonna add it to, oh, this could be, this is gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Take our frother. Okay, I definitely I definitely use too much eggnog. But that's okay. Pour this in. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We're going to add the whipped cream. And we're going to add some cinnamon. And there we have it. We made a latte. Look how simple that was. All right, let's try it. We've already ran into like three cheaters, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so good. I'm not a problem with the other way. You get every flavor. You get the coffee, you get the eggnog, and then you get the whipped cream, and then you get the cinnamon. So bomb and so simple. So if you're looking for an idea for your leftover eggnog, I highly suggest making this latte. It's so good. Yes, it's after Christmas. Yes, it's after New Year's. Yes, the technic the holiday season is technically over, but it's snowing now. A lot of places have snow now, and it's cold. And this will warm you right up. It'll make you feel cozy. It'll make you feel comfy, and it tastes really, really good. Now you can use regular eggnog, um, but I just, I prefer the oat milk uh, eggnog variety, so. Yum, I'm so excited. This is so good. All right, so I just wanted to sit and talk with you guys for a little bit after making my latte. Mm. This is so delicious. Um, yeah, my Christmas tree is still up. My Christmas decorations are still up currently, but I think I'm gonna take them down tomorrow. Might make a video on it. It's always kind of sad taking my holiday decorations down. I'm always super happy that I taken taken them down because I'm like usually kind of over them, but I always kind of I, I get a little bit sad anyways. Um, so it kind of takes me. A little bit to actually take them down and then once I take them down I'm really happy that I took them down but I don't know I, I this is the part of the holidays that I love the easy part of the holidays like the decorating that's the fun easy light-hearted part of the holidays like that's what I love everything else can be a little bit complicated for me but at least I can decorate and feel festive and you know enjoy that hey in his paw last night it was so cold we didn't realize how cold it got in the house it was 64 degrees because we hadn't turned the heat on so we had to turn the heat on last night because our house was 64 degrees and it also got below freezing last night so we had to make sure that we had our water dripping 
so our pipes didn't freeze. Now, ordinarily in my hometown in Indiana, like you wouldn't have to do that for just like a freeze because the pipes are built for cold weather. The pipes down here, not built for cold weather. Weather, let me tell you that. They are not built for it. So we had to kind of take some like extra precautions or whatever and yeah, it was just really, really cold last night. So me and Abel were snuggled up on the couch. Um, I'm watching on Peacock. They have the Office episodes. They have the Office super fan episodes. And it's basically like an extended cut of all of like different scenes. It's like the extended cut of the episode. So like different scenes were cut out of the episode to make it 23 minutes. But instead it's like 29 minutes. So you get to see the the like what it was before it went on the air. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're called the super fan episodes. And I've been really enjoying that. I think that's really cool that they do that. That they um, did that, that they made that exclusive for Peacock because I have Peacock and we pay five dollars a month for it, which is not bad, obviously, compared to like a lot of other streaming services. Um, but we have we kind of like rotate streaming services like we have um we have peacock and then we also have um showtime right now through amazon and then we have amazon prime so we can stream shows for um amazon prime has shows and stuff abel oh yes he knows he's not allowed to be in his fall and yet he continues to do it I love him so much but we have so we have Amazon Prime right now we have um, we always have Amazon Prime but we have Amazon Prime Showtime and Peacock currently uh, we I took I'm taking a break from Hulu because Hulu live TV is so expensive it's like $75 now at this point and I'm just I can't I can't justify it at the moment um, I'll probably eventually get it back but I realized Peacock has um, all the Housewives seasons. So I was like, oh, I don't even really need Hulu. I kind of miss Hulu. I kind of do. There's a lot of other stuff on Hulu that I do like. But I might get the cheaper version of Hulu and not the live TV. I'm kind of debating that. And then we did have HBO Max for a while. But I think we're going to get that back. Because um, there's a new season of Righteous Gemstones coming on. And I really love that. And then I also miss the um, newest season of Succession and then the last season of Insecure. So I definitely want to like get um, HBO Max back. But I'm just so thrifty. Like when, when you add up how much money you're spending on like entertainment, you kind of go, okay, this is getting really ridiculous that I'm paying this much money. Because there was, I kid you not, there was a point in time where me and Vaughn were paying for Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO, Spotify, There's and what else? And, okay. oh, and Peacock. That's six different streaming services. I'm fucking believable. I'm fucking believable, bro. Oh, and we had Paramount because we had we had a Paramount uh, free trial insane insane so i think i'm really happy with just peacock right now and then we have like showtime and um amazon prime right now so i think i'm happy with that but once our because our the showtime thing we're doing is like we're paying like a dollar for two months a dot yeah we're paying a dollar for we paid a dollar we paid a dollar for january and then we paid a dollar for february and then march we'll have to pay like the regular amount i'm going to cancel it in march and then we're going to get hbo max back yeah and just keep i don't know why i just started rambling on about streaming services this is like something that i think about a lot though how much money we spend on entertainment it's crazy it's crazy I, I, <sighs> but I 
I honestly like, and that was why I was keeping Hulu for so long was because it has all the housewives, but Peacock has all the housewives. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I, I can just pay $5 a month. And then you get all the office. You get all of Frasier. Frasier is another one of my comfort shows that I watch. The one thing I will say I miss though is Reba. Hulu has Reba. Hulu has Reba. If for whatever reason, if somehow Reba was on Peacock, I would never, I, I would just use Peacock exclusively. I wouldn't need anything else. Cause my comfort shows are any of the Real Housewives franchises, Frasier, Everybody Loves Raymond, and The Office, and Parks and Rec. And Peacock has all of those, except for Reba. You guys, he's such a bad, I love him so much. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys. Um, because I didn't get to upload a video yesterday, I'm so bummed out about it but I literally I you guys I couldn't even keep my eyes open I couldn't even keep my eyes open by the time I was able to like function and like make and it was just too late for me to put a video together for you guys so I do apologize but it just wasn't gonna happen yesterday it was literally like from noon to like 9 30 p.m that I felt like a drill was going through my skull. Terrible. Oh, also, I wanted to tell you guys, I have a Goodreads account. Um, I am starting out the new year. I want to be reading. Y'all know I like to read, but I wanted to get on Goodreads because you can have a goal and it kind of tracks your progress and then you can have friends and you can see what they're reading, you can see their progress and you can just kind of um, get inspired and then you have like your own reading goals and stuff and then you can find different books that you think that you might be interested in, it recommends different things. So I have a Goodreads account, I'll link it in the comment section down below so you guys can go follow me, make your own Goodreads account and if that's like one of your new year's resolutions to read more um go ahead and make a goodreads account it's really really cool and it's really nice and you you can track my progress you can see what i'm reading and i'll accept you as a friend and then you and um i can see what you're reading and um yeah so i started off with my goal at 20 books because i wanted to start off slow i didn't want to like go crazy and be like i'm gonna read 40 books because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage that. I might end up really reading 40 books, but I wanted to start off with a manageable goal at first, and 20 is manageable um, to begin with. And then I'll kind of like, as I read more and more, I can kind of like bump up my goal. And um, yeah, but this is the first book I'm reading currently right now. I'm reading The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenitis. I think that's how you say his, uh, I think that's how you say his last name, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and it has an introduction by Emma Klein, and Emma Klein wrote a book that I really like called The Girls. Um, I highly suggest it. It's kind of based on like, kind of loosely based on like the man, it's like a fictionalized version of like the Manson family kind of thing. So if you're inter interested in that kind of thing, it, it's fiction, but it's a pretty good book. Um, I read it really quickly. So this is a book I'm reading, The Virgin Suicides. I've seen the movie, but it was so long ago that I've seen the movie, so I'm excited to actually read the book. Um, pretty good so far. So this is what I'm reading. And uh, yeah, that's all my updates really. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make a leftover eggnog latte. I love you guys so, so much. Vaughn is getting loud on the stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, more content coming. Um, I think I'm gonna do a workout tomorrow. Ooh, so exciting. I think I'm gonna do my first workout of the new year. Um, barring if I feel good, I'm hoping I do. 
Um, I feel good today, so I just kind of took it easy because I didn't want a, a migraine to flare up or a headache to flare up. So um, I took it kind of easy today. So tomorrow I think I'll do my first workout. Yay! And I have um, an Amazon haul coming up soon. I have a Trader Jaw, Trader Jaws, a Trader Joe's haul coming soon, vlog, all of that. Um, I definitely want to try to vlog more even though I live a very boring, simple life. I like staying in my home. Um, I won't be going out to super crowded places, but I will be going to Trader Joe's um, and try to keep like, do like a monthly Trader Joe's thing because I do not go out. I'm honestly, since getting sick, I'm just like very wary of going out, but I will venture out to Trader Joe's for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, I also have this really good salad recipe coming soon and I also have, there's just like a lot that I have coming and I'm really excited but I wanted to show you guys how to make this latte because it just warms you up. I love you guys so, so much. Be sure to check out my Twitter at Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Thanks for watching. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah, mwah, mwah.